Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're talking about a place that's so cold it makes your freezer look like a sauna. Yes, we're talking about Yakutsk, the coldest city on earth. This city is so cold it's impossible to survive more than 15 minutes outside without proper clothing. But the Yakutian people have been living here for centuries and they've managed to adapt to the extreme weather conditions. So let's dive into this amazing place and explore the secrets of how to survive in the coldest city on earth. Welcome to Yakutsk. Yakutsk is located in the Saka Republic, an autonomous region in Eastern Siberia. During the Soviet era, people who the USSR deemed guilty would get sent to the gulags here as no one can escape the freezing cold. This place is known for its extreme temperatures and in winter the temperature regularly drops to as low as negative 60 celsius. However, while Yakutsk is the coldest city, there are other, less populous permanently inhabited places that are even more frigid. Oymyakon is a Russian settlement of around 500 people and its name translates to unfrozen water due to the nearby hot springs. It reached a frosty minus 71.2 celsius here in 1924. The locals say it gets close to that point lots of times during the winter, but they can't tell because most thermometers can't display below negative 63 celsius. During winters, the sun rises for only a few hours each day, which can lead to health issues. Somewhat surprisingly, Yakutsk and Omyakon aren't that close to each other. They are separated by 928 kilometers and a drive from one to the other would take around 21 hours. To put the cold in Yakutsk into perspective, imagine living in a place where the temperature is so low that your breath freezes as soon as it leaves your mouth. Or if you leave a banana outside for 10 minutes, you can use it as a hammer when you pick it back up. You also can't wear metal frame glasses as the metal will get stuck on your skin. That's Yakutsk for you. But despite the harsh conditions, this city has a rich cultural history and is home to over 300,000 people. So how do people survive here? The first thing you need to do is to stay warm. Make sure you have a good heating system in your house or apartment. The locals use a central heating system, which is connected to the hot water supply. They also have a backup generator in case of power outages. If you're planning to visit this place, you need to make sure you have the right gear. First and foremost, you need a good quality parka. It should be thick enough to keep you warm in these extreme conditions. You also need a pair of insulated boots, a warm hat, gloves, and a scarf. Layering is the key here, so make sure you wear multiple layers of clothing. The locals have a saying, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. So make sure you have the right clothing before you visit Yakutsk. Another important thing to keep in mind is to stay active. Despite the extreme temperatures, the Yakutians are an active bunch. They go ice fishing, skiing, and even play ice hockey. So if you're planning to visit Yakutsk, make sure you bring your skis. Now let's talk about what to eat. Due to the extreme weather conditions, the Yakutians have to rely on their livestock to survive. As a result, their cuisine is mainly focused on meat and dairy products. They have big fish markets and the fish get displayed outside as the cold just keeps them fresh. People don't need refrigerators here. Fridges usually operate at around four Celsius and freezers go as low as negative 20 Celsius. It's already way colder than that outside, so people can just keep their food anywhere and not worry about spoiling. The most popular dish here is called stroganina, which is a raw frozen fish that's sliced into thin strips. It might not sound appetizing, but it's a local delicacy and is said to be incredibly tasty. There are lots of other notable dishes, like horse meat, a delicacy in the region, typically served raw or cooked in a stew with vegetables and herbs. People also regularly eat rabbits and ducks. Then there's boozy, a type of steamed dumpling filled with meat, potatoes, and onions. And if you want none of that, you can always find a KFC or Burger King to feel right at home. But make sure to eat it fast, as cold fries taste awful. Before we move on, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Now, what about transportation? How do you get anywhere? Surprisingly, there's an actual public transportation system here, despite the cold. 
If you don't want to use that, of course there are cars. But having a car here brings a lot of trouble. The roads here are harsh. There's a high chance of you getting stuck somewhere without any people. And if you're stranded without proper clothing, you will freeze to death in 15 minutes. There isn't cellular signal everywhere. So people have to carry toolboxes in their vehicles all the time and have some mechanical knowledge in case their car breaks down. An interesting fact about cars here is there are two layers of glass on the windows in order to not lose the heat inside immediately. This can also be seen in houses at Finland. Insulation is quite important in climates like this. If you want to keep your car functional, you need to have it constantly running as otherwise the engine gets frozen. Because of the constantly running vehicles, there is a constant layer of exhaust smoke around the city and the range of visibility is often below 60 meters. This also means a lot of money will be lost on fuel. But thankfully Russia is rich with oil and natural gas resources. Also, the gas pipes here have to be laid above ground because the underground is completely frozen with a thick layer of ice. This layer of ice is called the permafrost and the whole city is built on it. It changes shape as temperature increases or decreases, which means you can't build traditional buildings here. The architecture is different. The buildings are built on pillars as the ground is covered with ice and there is a possibility of ice shifting. Some old buildings start leaning because of this. Another thing worth mentioning is funerals. Because of the permafrost, burying people takes a lot of effort as you can't just dig into the thick layer of ice. What people do here is they start a bonfire with coal that goes on for three to four days and bury the body when the ice melts. There have been instances of corpses turning up intact after a hundred years because the ice kept them from decomposing. The cold isn't the only interesting thing in Yakutsk. Despite the extreme weather conditions, this city has a lot to offer. Yakutsk is the administrative, cultural, and economic center of the Saka Republic. The city is known for its diamond mining industry. In fact, more than 20% of the world's diamond reserves are located in Yakutsk. The other natural resources are gold, silver, and coal. The region is also home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including reindeer, horses, and wolves. Yakutsk also has a rich history and culture. The city has several museums, including the Museum of History and Culture of Yakutia, which showcases the region's art, music, and traditional way of life. Yakutsk is also home to several festivals and events throughout the year, including the Yesyak Summer Festival, which celebrates the summer solstice and features traditional music, dance, and food. One of the most popular attractions is the Permafrost Kingdom, which is a museum built entirely out of ice. Another attraction is the Lena Pillars, which are a series of rock pillars located on the banks of the Lena River. You can also visit the Yakutsk Central Market, which is a great place to buy souvenirs and local delicacies. But the most intriguing attraction would be the Mammoth Fossils. There are many intact mammoth fossils showing up when the ice melts even today. Some are actually concerned about ancient viruses coming from the ice just like mammoths and spreading out, creating a pandemic. And that's a wrap, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It helps out a lot.